as of this moment or at least when you are watching this video or I would say I'm go when you're watching watching this video or I would say when this video is uploaded I am going to be 20 years yeah it's my birthday and to be honest it feels weird I remember the time of my childhood playing Nintendo DS reading tons of, book, of books and wondering what my future would look like also eating tons of eating I was a chubby and round child that was me. Probably cute. From, I think, 2012. Round and chubby. But nevertheless, I was always thinking about the future. What would I do in 10 years? In 20 years? Would I be successful? Would I even be happy with the me in the future? And the most important question, would I be happy? This is probably a question that many people are going to ponder on. If I am the only one, then regard this thing as a lucky encounter, as of someone else's view on the problem he has. Now, in order to see what feels weird, we have to look back into the brain of my former self. And looking back, I pretty much predicted my outcome in a rather precisely manner. Which is studying a computer related subject and being a student. Now there are things I couldn't predict. Like how I have an odd love and hate relationship with math. Or that for example I am still someone with no love and sight. Even though I pretty much pictured a fairy tale like story in my childhood days. But you get used to being alone, and to be honest, after getting re rejected so many times, you just try and find enjoyment in the ways on how you're getting rejected. A somehow sad yet oddly funny thing, now that I type it in a text program. By the way, this whole script thing is something that I never did before. Or at least, I couldn't remember when I did that. But considering the fact that I want to change, and this is a small change, I think this is a way which is better for me compared to me babbling about stuff in my usual stuttering manner. Or it isn't. I don't really know. I'm just a guy who turned 20 who somehow is afraid of the future. Yeah, I'm, I am pretty afraid of the future. Unknown stuff, mainly stuff, mainly stuff that consists of me making the wrong choices. Not making embarrassing choices. Those always le lead to good and funny things happening. But they are another topic, so... I mean, those choices that might turn wrong, even though they made sense in the beginning. Now that I'm actually reading what I type, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. I guess what I'm afraid of is not making a wrong choice. But not making a choice at all. Every single time in the past, in my life, I would always have that small and yet always present feeling of being left out. Oh wait, it is not fear of missing out. Uh, I think I had it in the past, uh, in my in my puberty ages, but now I am a troll that lives in his beloved dark cave, and I don't really want to leave that cave. Now that I actually think about the fear that I right now have, it is not being able to try and I would say 
miss anything out. I guess it is not being able to try and do what I want. Or in other words, not achieving what I want. Does that make any more sense? Uh, I mean, there are so many things I actually want to do. But the fee, or at least something inside me, is holding me back. For whatever reason. Considering my own experiences, I mean, I tried it countless time to say, yeah, I'm going to change anything. I mean, this fear is going to stay for a long time. And I am repeating this for a gazillion times in my life. And in order for, for, the, for things to change, changing myself is the only option. So... Yeah. Now, a very, very quick notice. If you talk about this video in front of a group where I don't feel comfortable, then I will simply reply that you got the wrong Asian. Why? Because I don't have fear. I am someone without any fear. And this video never existed except under special circumstances, you know? For example, if you're alone, if if there are more than f if there are more than four eyes, in most cases, this video never existed. Okay, okay, bye.